You've got a fire in your belly, a passion to serve and an insatiable drive to contribute. You know that if you can just get your message in front of the right people, you can change lives. But where to start? There are so many options, so many moving pieces. You get bogged down, overwhelmed, frustrated, while the burning desire to serve others consumes you. I know, I've been there. And these days I bring life-changing impact and value to people's lives through the creation of books, funnels, online courses and coaching programs, and virtual summits. This is the Call to Serve podcast. I'm Tim Cooper, and this is my journey. It all starts with an idea, a thought. Now, we've all been blessed with this powerful gift called imagination. From the invention of the wheel to the exploration of fast space, none of that would be possible without the human imagination. And we all have ideas, right? We, you know, ideas, that's just the way our, you know, our brain works and our imagination works. We think, oh, wouldn't this be great? Or wouldn't this be great? But ideas don't bring forth any fruit. Ideas don't help you, don't help anyone until you put the processes in place to bring those ideas into reality. And as I said, everything, ideas, thoughts, like everything you're going to do, it all starts with, with a thought. Because you now ideas and thoughts are like leaves blowing in the wind. They come and they go. Unless you capture that idea and then, say, put the processes in place to bring it into reality, it's just an idea. Now, and lots of people sort of look at where they're, where they're at and they haven't achieved the things they want to achieve. And they say, oh, but I've had all these great ideas and you know, all these great plans. And the question has to be asked, well, then what did you do with that idea? What did you do with those plans? Because while they just simply sit up in your head, nothing is going to happen. So we've got to look for opportunities and we've got to open our mind. We've got to change the frame that we look at the world through so that we can really put our imagination into hyperdrive and get those ideas flowing. A lot of us just, just walk through this world oblivious to what's going on around us. We just don't take notice. But if we open our mind to our surroundings and start looking for opportunities, then ideas will start to flow. And sometimes as creators, and we want to bring something to our market, and we think we want to be innovative, we want to bring something new. And as I said in a previous episode, the, the vehicles that you are bringing to your audience don't have to be groundbreaking, they don't have to be new. You've just got to bring your unique perspective to that, your experience, the, the frameworks that you've created that you've seen success, wrap it in your story. So, and that still holds, very, very true. But another way that you can innovate, bring something new, is to look at what's happening and working in another industry and then see how, if that could be adapted to your market. For an example, the roll-on deodorant, that concept, that idea came from the ballpoint pen. The inventor of the roller deodorant saw how, how easily and silky the ink was laid down on the paper by the roller ball. And so they took that concept of the ballpoint pen and created the roll-on deodorant. And then from there, the concept of the roller ball for application of whatever, from you know, insect repellent to essential oils to all sorts of things, has been adapted to all these different markets. So you can take something that exists and is working well in another market, in another industry, and see how you can adapt those principles or adapt that, that, adapt that idea 
into yours. So that's how you, that's how you can be innovative. But it's, it's important that you act on your ideas. If you have a great idea, write it down and then look at ways that you can bring that idea to life, to bring it from the mind into the real world. Okay. Now, obviously it would be easier and quicker if you had the skill set to bring that idea into reality, like say create a course or a coaching program, a summit, write a book. But even if you don't have the, the skills yourself, you could look at the who, not the how. You could start looking out to see who could help you bring that into reality. And you may have to partner with them, you know, set up a little, a little business partnership, split the, split the revenue. But you don't have to do everything yourself. This is the point. This is so important that to bring your ideas to life, it's not all on you. There are ways, there are people out there who can, who can help you, who, who you can partner with. So that's, that's my message for today is if you have these ideas and you know that if you could just bring that to your market, you could help so many people, then you're doing them an injustice if you don't. And you're also doing yourself an injustice if you don't. Now, I'm, I'm a firm believer that we've been put on this earth for a reason. We all have our purpose. We all have our, our role to play. And I'm a firm believer in service and serving others that we can bring our unique abilities, our unique experiences, our, our knowledge to the world in service to others and help others. And in return, we will be rewarded. We, we, we will be reimbursed, but always coming from from giving without expectation of receiving. And to do that, you've got to bring your ideas to life. It's, it's no good just, just thinking that something's great. Because as I said, we all have ideas. They're like, like leaves blowing in the wind. And there's nothing really, I mean, it's funny that most things have already been done. We're just adapting and changing, enhancing, innovating. And so, Sometimes our ideas aren't unique. It's just that other people have had them, but they never acted on them. And here's your chance to bring something valuable to the market. So be open, look for opportunities, walk around eyes wide open, see the world, see the world around you, see the struggles and the pains that your target market is experiencing. And then use your imagination to come up with a solution to that, to that problem and then present your solution to the world. And if you come from a position of service, people will truly thank you for it. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you found it useful. Just open yourself up and take action. Right? Always take action. Put things into motion and you will see life-changing results. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button, the little bell, and maybe a thumbs up. And if you want to catch other episodes, there's a playlist over here, uh, which is all the previous episodes. So check out the playlist, scan through. And um, yeah, if you've got any feedback or questions, please put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you're listening to this on another podcast platform and you found value in, in this information, please follow the show and give it a review. And if there's a way for you to reach out via the platform, please do. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, I'm always available at tim at timcooper.au. That's tim at timcooper.au. As I said, I'd love to hear from you. So until tomorrow. 
you take care.